For what purpose does the gentleman from Arizona seek recognition? Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. I move the House suspend the rules and pass H.R. 2899. The clerk will report the title of the bill. Union calendar number 194, H.R. 2899, a bill to direct the Secretary of the Interior to conduct a study to assess the suitability and feasibility of designating areas within the island of Guam as a national heritage area and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Grajava, and the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Arizona. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker, and I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material uh, on the measure under consideration. Without objection, it is so ordered. The gentleman from Arizona is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of H.R. 2899, introduced by my Natural Resource Committee colleague, Representative San Nicolas. H.R. 2899 authorizes the Secretary of Interior to conduct a study to assess the suitability and feasibility of designating areas within the, within the island of Guam as nat national heritage areas. The study would cover the entire island of Guam and identify areas of natural, historic, and cultural importance that reflect the tradition, customs, beliefs, and folk life that represent distinct and nationally significant aspects of the American stories. I congratulate Representative San Nicolas for this strong advocacy in, in promoting this legislation on behalf of his constituents, and I urge support from my colleagues for the legislation, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentlemen, reserves, and what, what purposes? Gentleman from Arkansas, rise. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself uh, such time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, H.R. 2899, offered by Mr. San Nicolas of Guam, requires the Secretary of the Interior to conduct a study to assess the suitability and feasibility of designating areas within the island of Guam as national heritage areas. Archaeological evidence indicates that the Mariana Islands were one of the first places settled by seafaring peoples. The last 400 years of Guam's history are marked by administrations of three different nations, Spain, the United States, and Japan. After the Spanish-American War in 1898, Guam was ceded to the United States as an unincorporated territory. Guam's rich history and culture merit consideration for natural heritage area status. I support Congressman San Nicolas's bill to study areas within the island of Guam to determine whether they merit designation as a national heritage area in the future. I urge adoption of the bill and reserve the balance of my time. So the time from Arizona is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I, uh, I yield as much time as he may consume to the sponsor of the legislation, Representative San Nicolas. Gentleman is recognized for as much time as he may consume. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Guam would like to begin by thanking the committee chairman for his leadership on this measure, as well as the ranking member, the gentleman from Arkansas, for the unanimous support of the committee for this legislation, H.R. 2899, and the majority leader for us being able to bring this measure to the floor today. Madam Speaker, this bill will authorize the National Park Service to conduct a study throughout the territory of Guam to identify sites that would be eligible for designation as national heritage areas. The first such designation occurred in 1984, signed into law by President Ronald Reagan. And since that time, 54 other sites throughout the country have been so designated as national heritage areas, enjoying the rightful support of this federal government to preserve, promote, and enhance the significance of these sites in the fabric of America. Guam, Madam Speaker, in relation to our capital, is our westernmost territory, situated closer to Asia than America. Our island possesses one of the largest contiguous Pacific coral reefs in the country, a deep history that includes sites of imperial Japanese occupation, devastation, and decimation during World War II, over 300 years of Spanish colonization and subjugation, 124 years as a U.S. possession, and 3,000 years of present-day indigenous history carried on by the indigenous Chamorro people, who this month recognize Chamorro culture and history month with Mes Chamoru. Guam holds stories of resiliency, loyalty, triumph over struggle, and the struggle that is our present-day unreconciled relationship with these United States. 
It is the birthplace of patriots who gave their lives for this country, veterans who proudly served, and Americans through and through who patiently and persistently seek full inclusion into this great nation. This legislation is but one of many steps we must take to fully acknowledge the fabric of the territory of Guam and all territories in the tapestry that is American democracy. Our national heritage is not contiguous to a single landmass, nor is it homogenous to any single people. It is in fact everything and everyone we are today, and the confluence of circumstances that have brought us to this day. I urge my colleagues throughout this Congress to join our colleagues on the committee to secure unanimous passage of H.R. 2899 as symbolic of the unanimity of this great nation, the United States, tribes, and territories of America. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen, yield back. The balance. Gentlemen, reserves. Gentlemen from Arkansas is recognized. Madam Speaker, again, I, der I urge adoption of the bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Arkansas yields back. Gentleman from Arizona is recognized. Uh, having no further requests for time, uh, I'm prepared to close and inqui uh, inquire of my colleague if there are any speakers on his side. Gentleman has the only time remaining. Huh? Mr. I urge my colleagues to support the legislation and yield back the balance. Gentleman from Arizona yields back the balance of his time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 2899? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, uh, the, those in favor the suspended and the bill is passed. And without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.